What is going on guys? Welcome back. It's Vim time again. A couple of days ago, I discovered a plugin, a Vim plugin or a NeoVim plugin uh, that has a feature or offers features that I always wanted to have. I never saw them in any IDE. I never saw them in any plugin. One of the most useful feature set that I've ever seen. Uh, so I want to share it with you guys. I think it can be quite interesting to some of you guys. Let us get right into it. So the plugin that we're going to talk about today is called undo tree and the name already tells you what this plugin allows you to do. It allows you to have multiple branches, multiple paths of undo redo histories. So maybe I should open up paint to show you what this means. Essentially, in most IDEs, what you have and in most editors, what you have is you have this line where you make changes. So you start at this point here and then you make changes. Each line represents a change. What you do then is you go back. So this is the most current state. This is the original state. So what you can do is you can go back, you can undo, 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 and then you can also redo, redo, redo and so on. But let's say you don't redo, let's say you just go undo, undo, undo. So you're at this point here, for example, but now you don't redo, but you do something else. So you go back to this point and now you make a new change like this one here. The problem with most IDEs and editors here is that you cannot now go back at this point here, go back, 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 and then go back into the future where you were before you undid the first time. So essentially what this means is that now once you undo and go into a new branch, this is your one and only undo redo history branch. This one here is completely dead. And I think we should even be able to see that here in paint. If I uh, make changes like those here, I can go back, back, and I can make new changes, but I can now not redo into the old one. So I can redo here, of course, like that. But I cannot, once I change, I cannot redo into the alternative futures if you want. With undo tree, we can do that in Vim. So with this plugin here, we can do that in Vim. What you have to do is you have to copy the URL here at the top, you have to open up your uh, NeoVim config or Vim config. So if you have Vim, it's usually the vimrc file. If you have NeoVim, it's the init Vim file. In my case, it's the init Vim file. So uh, user directory slash dot config slash nvim slash init dot vim. And by the way, if you don't have a NeoVim setup or a Vim setup, I have videos on this channel where I explain to you how to build that I have a full NeoVim setup guide, just go to my channel NeoVim setup guide or NeoVim full guide, something like that. If you want to go from scratch, if you want to learn how to install plugins, all that for this video, I assume you already know how to install plugins. And the only thing you're interested in is learning about undo tree about a specific plugin. So you should know how to use Vim plug, for example, like this here. Uh, this is a prerequisite. All you need to do in this case is you use your plugin manager to install the respective plugin in Vim plug, you just type plug and the URL, you should find it in description down below. Otherwise, just Google undo tree Vim or just type it off from the screen, but it should be in the description down below. Once you have that you can close it, uh, you can close the config. And you can open up a new file test.txt, for example, of course, you need to do also plug install in order to actually install the plugin. So colon plug install enter to install the plugin, um, then restart Vim, and then you should be able to use it. And now let's go ahead and just write some stuff here like hello world. Hey, what is up? Hello, my friend. Now we have a certain history of changes that we made to the file. So what we can now do is we can say colon undo tree toggle to get the undo tree. Um, and here you can see now we have a straight line, we have the original version, if I double click here, I can do that with my mouse because my mouth is uh, mouse is enabled. Otherwise, just go with control W and then H or left and then you can go with the arrow keys and enter, you can jump between the individual states. So you can see what exactly changed, what's the state at a certain point in time. Um, and now what I can do is I can go back into my code and I can say undo, I can go back, back. So with you, I can undo. And now what, what I can do is I can open a new line, for example, and say, this is now a new line, escape. And you can see that this created now an alternative future. So I have this here, which is my uh, original undo tree or undo path. And now I have this new point here. So this was what it was before I can still jump back and forth here. But this is now my actual 
uh, state. So I can move on this axis, I can move on this axis here. And of course, what I can now do is I can also undo again, go here, create another one. Hello. And now I have more branches and I have um, more nodes and more intersections. That is basically the idea. I don't lose any of the states. So I can say a and then pause B, and then pause and then C and then go back. And now I can undo and write, for example, D, but I don't lose the C because I still have this alternative universe where C is a thing. So I can jump here as well. Um, this is the idea. This is the whole undo tree. Uh, that is the fundamental basis of the plugin. However, you can do more with that. For example, if I'm here now at the most current point, I can type the command colon earlier, instead of just undo or redo. And I can say get me to a state where this program was or get me to the state where this file was, for example, a minute ago, and I do that by saying earlier one M and it jumps one minute ago, or I can do the same thing with later. One minute jumps to the present, I can say earlier 10 seconds. Uh, okay, 10 seconds doesn't work. Uh, how did I do that? One second, does that work? Later, one second, later, one second, okay, this works. Um, but I can also say later one day later one hour, of course, it takes the maximum if there is not enough uh, time, but I think earlier, five seconds, there you go works as well. So that is the basic idea you can jump back and forth also with timestamps. Um, in order to understand the symbols here, this these angle brackets here mean that this is the current state that you're in. So if you're writing here, uh, doing something, this is the current state. If you're at a certain point, uh, let's say here, the state with the curly brackets is uh, let's let's type a uh, question mark here, you can see in the documentation, the uh, curly brackets means the next redo state and the square brackets mean the latest state that we have. So this is the latest state. And this is the state that you will go into when you redo. So if I go here, and I say Control R, I redo into eight, if I do it again, I redo into 11. Uh, that is what this means. And now in my opinion, uh, or actually before we do that, let me show you here if I say uh, percent, uh, not percent colon W. So I write, you can see that I now have an S here, which means that this is a safe point, And you can see it's a capital S indicating that this is the latest safe point. If I now go down here, and I also do a right, you can see this is now the latest S the large S. And here we still have an S indicating that we saved at this point as well. But this is the latest safe point. So this is the actual content of the file. Now, the problem is that if I now just exit and open the file again, this undo tree is gone because it's just for the session. Like in most editors, if you undo redo, this is just for the session. However, you can also export it into a history file so that you can actually load it again, and have the whole undo tree in the next session again, which is a very powerful tool, which is a very powerful thing that you can do here. And um, for that, all you need to do is you need to say W and then uh, undo so one do basically, and then the file name of the history. So for example, history dot undo, whatever you want to call it. And now what you do is you close the file, you open it up again, you, um, you, you can then say R undo for loading read undo. And then this is the um, what did I call it history dot undo, you can see finished reading undo file. So we can do again undo tree toggle. We have the undo tree back again. So if I open it without doing that undo tree toggle, you can see automatically it has no history, it has no tree. So it's not stored in the file. Um, let me just show you again undo tree toggle. And then our undo history dot undo. Now I have to um, restart it. But there you go. Um, this is how you can do that. Now one last thing that I want to show you here again for the for the uh, commands, you can go question mark and you can see here all the uh, commands that you can or all the key presses that have functionalities. But one thing I want to show you here is how you can bind the undo tree toggle to a key so that you can do something like that, where you just have to press a key to undo uh, to, to toggle the undo tree and to enable it and disable it essentially. 
And this is you just go into your config and you type uh, NNO remap and then the key I have two keys or two key combinations here I have control L and here I have F5 and you just type undo tree toggle CR CR means enter if you remove the CR you just write undo tree toggle but you don't commit so you don't press enter uh, and if you have that you can just press F5 or control L in this case as well and this toggles the undo tree. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.